two buildings directly in front of us, essentially on our left hand side. Don't know where the poor people went. Probably standing out in the sun, more than likely. But uh, that's a bit of the taxi area where the aeroplanes would just sort of sit while they were not doing nothing. the taxi route, the runways, going that way, up in front of us, from left to right. Yeah, so that should be cool. Uh, they still use it today, a lot of airplanes still land here, a lot of uh, day trippers or private airplane owners. It's about half a metre size S. It's really dodgy looking. I'll go and draw it for you if you want. I mean, go for it. That's what we call petrol stations in Australia, surveys. If you want some, you just go into the bar. It's really quite simple. On the left we have, uh, you can see this little white building. This is what we call dongas in Australia. So it's just got a bed in it. The bus is bigger than one of those rooms. So it's not very large. Tennis court, doesn't look like it's too used very often. The nets disappeared. They used to have a road um, <laughs> There's the net. Alright, I'm going to go around the town roundabout now. It's a very exciting town, it's got a population of fluctuating 10 to 15. Mm -hmm. On a good day. That was the roundabout, that was very exciting wasn't it? <laughs> Left hand side, now we have the town hall, the school classroom. Um, fire station, post office, uh, anything else you can think of. There's the fire truck there on the left hand side just behind the tree. <laughs> now, uh, they used to have a fireman here who uh, refused to put a fire out one day. The pub actually caught on fire and they all, and the fireman refused to fight the fire because he doesn't fight house fires, he fights grass fires. So they, they've got a new, new fireman now. I think they, they chased the other one out of town with a couple of shotguns. <laughs> After that, the pub's been rebuilt, so it's all good. Um, you can see just behind these pink flowers here, there's a little man with a little hat and a rooster. Now, he makes all these wooden things you can see on the side of the road. If you see any piece of wood or anything that you like and you want something written on it, he'll, he'll engrave it for you. It doesn't cost, cost hardly anything. So. If you're interested in that, go and say good day to him anyway. He's always interesting to talk to. Don't shut the doors by yourself. Pass half an hour to go for a wander. Have a look around.
I got a round of applause while that's right. <laughs>
a big tract of forest to save it from the loggers. There was a tall tree on the highest point of her property. She wanted to see all of her land, so she began climbing the tree in bear hug fashion. As she neared the top, she was attacked by an angry possum. In a panic, she loosened her grip and slid down the tree trunk at an ever-increasing speed. Consequently, she had many splinters in the private parts of her body. In pain, she hurried to the nearest doctor who worked in a nearby logging camp. He calmly listened to her story, then told her to wait in the examination room. Three hours later, the doctor finally reappeared. And Peggy was a bit cranky by this time, and she said, what took you so long? The doctor replied, well, I had to get permits from the Environmental Protection Authority, the Forestry Commission, and the Department of Land Management before I could remove old growth timber from a recreational area. 